You know, I didn't ever do this, but see, I lived on a cotton farm when I was growing up in Arkansas. I picked the cotton all my life and plowed and chopped it. And when I graduated from high school, I told my daddy, I said, I don't care how tall the cotton gets or how good the picking is, I ain't gonna pick no more. So I hitchhiked up north to the car factories and I got a job working. You've seen those 51 Pontiacs in the junk pile, I made them. I left Kentucky back in 49, went to Detroit working on assembly line. The first year they had me putting wheels on Cadillacs. Every day I'd watch them beauties roll by and sometimes I'd hang my head and cry. Always wanted me one that was long and black. Well, one day I devised myself a plan that should be the envy of most any man. I'd sneak it out of there in a lunchbox in my hand. Now getting caught meant getting fired, but I figured to have it all by the time I retired. Have me a car worth at least a hundred grand. I'd get it one piece at a time, and it wouldn't cost me a dime. You'll know it's me when I come to your town. Gonna ride around in style, gonna drive everybody wild. Cause I'll have the only one there is around. Well, the very next day when I checked in with my big lunchbox and help with my friends, I left that day with a lunchbox full of gear. I never considered myself a thief, but GM wouldn't miss just one little piece, especially if I strung it out over several years. The first day I got me a fuel pump, the next day I got me an engine and a trunk, got me a transmission and all the chrome. Little things I could get in a big lunch box like nuts and bolts and all four shocks. The big stuff I snuck out in my buddy's mobile home. Well, now up to now my plan went all right till we tried to put it all together one night. And that's when I noticed that something was definitely wrong. The transmission was a 53 and the motor turned out to be a 73. When we tried to put in the bolts, all the holes were gone. So we drilled it out so that it would fit and with a little bit of help from an eight out to kit had that engine running just like a song. The headlights was another sight. We had two on the left and one on the right. But when we pulled out the switch, all three of them, come on. The back end looked kind of funny too, but we put it together and when we got through, that's when I noticed that we only had one tail fin. About that time, my wife walked out and I could see in her eyes that she had a doubt. But she opened the door and said, honey, take me for a spin. So I spun her. Tags and I hit her to ride on down main drag. You could hear everybody laughing for blocks around. But up there at the courthouse, they didn't laugh cause to type it up, it took the whole staff and when they got through, the title weighed 60 pounds. I got it one piece at a time and it didn't cost me a dime. You'll know it's me when I come to your town. Gonna ride around in style, gonna drive Everybody wild, cause I have the only one there is around. Oh, uh, yeah, Red Rider, this is the cottonmouth and the psycho Billy Cadillac. Come on. Huh? Uh, uh negatory on the cost of this machine there, Red Rider. You might say I just uh uh well I I went up to the factory to pick it up, it's cheaper that way. Well, it's been sitting here in the weeds and grass all these years, but uh, the highway patrol asked me that, and the, the license and the title says it's, that it's a 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59 automobile. It's a 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 67. 